talk about human rights around the world, but we are not acknowledging that there is a struggle for human rights right here at home. Ministers and religious leaders from all corners of New York City's spiritual diaspora came together in front of City Hall on a snowy Saturday to protest Citizens United, a controversial Supreme Court decision that prevents governmental limits on corporate campaign donations. Occupy Faith and Occupy Corporations condemned the two-year-old decision, which practically grants individual rights to huge companies. You know, you can't kiss a corporation, you can't baptize a corporation, uh, you can't give last rights to a corporation. And yet a corporation does have this power to work as a demonic force in our lives. It's eating our homes, it's eating our uh, economy, and it's eating our government. The impact of the decision is being felt more in 2012 than in any year prior because of the presidential election looming this November. Corporate dollars will make a bigger difference in the election than ever before. And many companies ensure the new president's loyalty by donating to all candidates. Um, and it's election year dominated by the two-party system, which doesn't even really deserve that name because the parties are identical. The Republicans and Democrats, they have the same agenda, but they, are, they call themselves different things. It's a huge hoax, and it's, it's influenced and empowered by the fact that corporations give almost the same amount of money to both parties. U.S. Supreme Court justices are appointed to lifelong terms, so getting the Citizens United decision overturned isn't likely. Organizers say, however, that the best way to smother the decision is with a constitutional amendment, a process that will take a long time and a lot of work. To many of the protesters here, however, it wasn't just about overturning Supreme Court decisions that give greater freedom to corporations in elections. It was about all of the themes of Occupy Wall Street. It was about human rights. One human rights issue that remains a sore point is the unaddressed disaster of the Iraq war, which was begun on non-existent evidence and recently ended after 10 years of chaos. Hundreds of thousands are dead, the architects remain free, and there doesn't seem to be any threat of prosecution or accountability. We're over a complete and total lie. There were no weapons of mass destruction. So that means that, that the Bush administration and Cheney and Condoleezza Rice and all the rest of them should probably be charged for war crimes. You know, what you kill one person, they call it murder. You kill a million people, they call it corporate policy or government policy. Protesters were happy with the turnout considering the non-cooperation of the weather. Following the protest, the demonstrators marched from one corporate headquarters to another in a tour of American corporate malfeasance. Hank Flynn, Press TV, New York.